Stan Gibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations. I just had a very interesting question from a viewer, and it, it's actually gotten me kind of obsessed. Uh, this viewer uh, recalls building a hairpin match, also known as a beta match, for a 15 meter beam and a 20 meter beam some years ago but he forgot the formulas and the dimensions and now he wants to build one for a 10 meter uh, Yagi beam antenna. Um, and I did some research, uh, some Google searching and I, the more uh, research I did uh, the more confused I got because all of the formulas uh, for this type of matching system seem to be dependent upon factors that uh, couldn't be pinned down, um, even hair pinned down. Um, bad pun, bad pun, bad pun is going off. Oh, oh, shut up, shut up. Anyhow, if you'll do a Google search, an advanced Google search, and, and in the box for all these words type DX engineering hairpin match those four words not in the phrase box but in the box for all these words then you will get several hits and the first uh, couple of them are um, kits manufactured by a company called DX engineering specifically for the purpose of building hairpin match devices. Um, the reason that I'm so obsessed with this uh, idea, I think, is because it sounds eminently so sound. So engineering, uh, it, it just sounds like a really solid idea uh, that maybe hasn't gotten uh, the attention that it deserves in the amateur radio community. Uh, if you use a ballon, what, what the hairpin match will do is create a balanced 50 ohm impedance point at the feed point of a Yagi antenna, which normally has a, a balanced feed point impedance more on the order of 10 to 25 or 30 ohms, sometimes even below 10 ohms. It'll create a 50 ohm balanced, um, pure uh, resistive impedance. Then you use a one-to-one -one ballon coil uh, to match that balanced 50 ohm load to a coaxial feed line. And it says all of this uh, very clearly in the instructions uh, and the details by DX Engineering, and that's why uh, it sounds to me, uh, if I were to be a betting man, <laughs> Well, I do live near Deadwood. I suppose I could go down tonight and become a batting man right away. <laughs> also become broke right away. Uh, but I think that uh, the, the pricing is eminently reasonable, and it sounds to me like something worth considering. Uh, maybe a, an overlooked uh, type of antenna matching design for Yagi antennas. The hairpin match also known as a beta match. That's my little tidbit of advice, is check it out. Stan Gibalisco, W1GV, saying 73, which means best regards in ham radio jargon. And so long, which, in my native fist, hairpin match or not, shall forever after mean di-di-di-da-di-da. Di, 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 di.